Hello friends, I am going to teach you how to transfer or copy images of your plans to Word PowerPoint Excel or any Office product. And for this, I am going to show you several ways to do it. Among them is one in which it will preserve what is the shape vector image. That is, it will not save it clearly as a pixel image, and it will not send it or copy it as a vector image, where it will preserve the properties of the lines and everything in such a way that if you enlarge it, it will not, it will be pixelated. So the first thing we generally use is the screenshot. We capture the screen, and in the Word, it will look terrible, or in the PowerPoint, because the numbers or some other detail will simply be illegible, and the other option is to do it with export. You click on the A export button and save it as a meta file, like Windows meta file. So it is also an option. I am also going to show you how to do it like this. And there is also printing in JPG. There is a printer for images that comes preloaded, published in JPG GPNG, but that also has its detail. And the other one that I use the most is and save it as a PDF, and from there generate a JPG image. Then we are going to develop each one quickly. So the first thing is the screenshot. We are going to take the screenshot, and if we paste it in the Word, obviously when we want to arrange it or want to enlarge it, Obviously, you want to see everything pixelated. Whether we record it from the layout, it will still look like this. Everything pixelated, so this way at least. So that it suddenly becomes something, a piece of furniture or a small environment, it could be a quick way. The other way that is a little more professional, and that already comes with its own function in AutoCAD, is to export it. So let's do that right now. Here I give you click on A to export other formats and it asks us to select what we are going to export. Suddenly, I only want to export this part of the drawing. I press Enter, and that's it. Let's go here. Insert image from device. You can also do it by dragging it. And here I have Insert we are going to crop. Remember that I am going to escape again by double-clicking on it. You activate the image editing functions in Word or in Office as well, or by clicking here on Crop. And let's see how this looks. If it is a vector image, it's not going to pixelate no matter how much we enlarge it. So here it is. But if I zoom in, you'll notice that it doesn't pixelate, but some details are not very clear. What does recognize perfection are the lines, but the letters are a little bit there. This format has a small disadvantage as a meta file, so it is good, but only with the lines, even if you want to make it black and white. And with the thickness of the lines, you can also do it here simply right. Click on Model and click on Setup Configuration of Page here in the Model. They put Modify. They put here, for example, if they want monochrome or they want some style that already has it predetermined for printing in black and white, select it. And here this check or this box, they have to mark it. They give it OK, close, and they click. Note that it already marks everything. So if here, the line thickness is also activated. In this case, the walls are thicker. And remember that here you also have to activate and deactivate the line thickness that I have clicked here on the three line weight bars. Line thickness can be activated, deactivated, at all. Case here it is. And we are going to do the same operation. So you can see that you can also do black and white. This is also useful. But I use another one that I am going to show you also. Here in other black and white metafile formats, click on record, and we are also going to choose this part of the drawing enter, and that's it. We are going to do another one here on another page. Here we are going to put it insert image. You selected it insert, and here it is. I click on crop a little to be able to enlarge it, and we are going to do a zoom, and you realize that the line thickness is respecting me. However, the letters are a bit like it doesn't recognize them. If you are going to do this, I recommend that you also put the letters in a linear format. It can be the Romans font. And if you are going to recognize them very well, this is also another shape or a letter that you see adapts well to this format. You can also buy it directly. Go to AutoCAD. Select what you want to pass to the word Cottrell plus C to copy. And they go to Word. We are going to do another one here. We are going to go to another sheet, and we are going to paste. Down arrow, special paste. Here you can paste it as an AutoCAD object, which is practically like a link to the file, and here is the Windows meta file. 
So with this option, it is the same as what I did before, except that it is simply faster in some way. Let's do it directly with Control plus C and Paste Special and click on Accept, and it will also be saved as a meta file. Let's do it quickly to see the difference. Let's enlarge it the same as the previous one, only a little faster than this. Way. Well then, now we are going to see the next way that I wanted to show you the other method. We are going to put it here. We are going to AutoCAD. I am going to escape from here. And the other way is to print as an image. Click on the print button in the next part. From the video, I will show you how to print as an image and also the other method of printing in PDF and image capture that also shows quite good results. I will leave you the link to the next part of the tutorial in the descriptive part of the video, or as a warning. During this video, well friends, that would be all if you like it. Click like you can also share this video with your friends or colleagues. I invite you to subscribe to the YouTube channel and activate the bell to see more videos.